Teresa? Good morning, Mike. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Uh, Mike, with uh, some of the injuries your t team's dealing with, how helpful has it been the uh, the turnovers that your defense has been able to force, particularly particularly yesterday? Well, injuries aside, I mean, we, we're excited to be able to win a turnover margin, you know, against a team that's historically been able to create them. You know, I thought we were um, good in that regard, and, and obviously, you know, being able to take it away from them. You know, we've talked about tipping passes before. Um, you know, we tipped a couple earlier in the season. The guys were close, but you know, you just never know which way that ball is going to bounce or, or go. And then yesterday, Tier was able to get it, <clears throat> and then being able to get it off the quarterback a couple times. What you like about uh, what you saw from the inside linebackers yesterday? Really, really good against the run. You know, I thought that that group that was in there, uh, David and and Dylan, and then Joe had a few snaps in there as well. Um, you know, that this is a good running football team. It's very good back that we played. Uh, you know that that was you know, you know pretty much the difference in the game being able to to stop the run the way that we did. Um, guys were playing physical. Guys were playing um, instinctive, and um, they did a nice job. I feel like you guys have had any more emphasis on on stopping the uh, opponent's top offensive weapons the last two weeks, or has it just kind of worked out that way? Well, I mean, we have an idea of what we'd like to do coming into the game, and that was certainly a big key. Um, you know, I mean, it's 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 hard sometimes to to do that. Um, we, we were able to do it uh, this this past week, obviously with Jonathan Taylor. We have to find ways to continue to affect the quarterback and you know be a little bit better, um, you know, in coverage, whether that's uh, man concepts or zone concepts. It was there, is there like a little bit of a balancing act too when you can shut down those weapons? There might be some other guys like a like a. Cox or someone like that who might have bigger days than. than oh, I mean, I think you know. I mean, you just have to be able to stay tight to a, a tight end and, and and cover them and and be able to tackle them. Ron said he didn't know what happened at the end of in the first half with the with the clock situation. Doesn't he need to know? Exactly yeah, we'll be better happened. in those situations. Starting with me, obviously, making sure that you know we're we're getting rid of the football and um, you know being able to get points there. So we'll we'll focus on those and. You know, make sure that that's cleaned up moving forward. You feel like you guys have been as clean and smart as you usually have been between like that. You had a legal shift. You had too many men on the field. Burks didn't know what to do when he was hurt. That stuff seems to be kind of adding up. Well, we'll continue to coach it. You know, I mean, we have to make sure that uh, you know take these things as a case by case basis that you, that you um, you know bring up. It's all you know part of the game and all the operation. You know, changing subs, you know, subs, and you know, having making sure that we have the the proper amount of guys on the field, uh, handling the situations when when a player, um, you know, is injured and, and can't, you know, play the next play. All those things that we talk about, and that, that will continue to to work and practice. How did Farley hold up uh, yesterday when he was inserted in there in coverage? Well, I mean, I thought he improved. I thought there was, um, you know, some good snaps and then some some ones that. Um, you know, we'll continue to work on and improve. And um, but you know, I thought he did a you know, nice job when he was in there. You know, it's a tough position to play. You're 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 under the gun, and you're going to have to you know be willing to to make you know have some balls caught on you, and then you know being able to come back and and make a play. And so you know he had a he had a pass break up, and then the, you know the next play they they went down the field on him, and you know you just have to be you know ready for the ball every single time. Are there times that in his coverage that maybe he's needs to be a little tighter and use his frame and length to uh, be closer to the receiver on we, we'd like all our DBs to be as close to their receivers as possible any idea how long you'll be without trailing and do you have the bodies on the roster to, to replace him uh, we do you know I don't know how long um, he'll be out we'll continue to evaluate him this week and see where he's at Ryan's now 4 0 in Indianapolis. That's a place that this franchise in the past had really struggled to win. Can you just speak to what he has meant to over the last few years and this season? Well, we've taken care of the ball. You know, we were able to to, to win the, the rushing battle. You know, we were we were our, had a better passer rating and we won the turnover margin. So that's that's the recipe for, for winning in this league, especially on the road. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to. 
to find and make make opportunities. You know, I think there were some things that we you know we could have probably gotten, you know, and, and been able to to get the ball there. And we'll we'll talk to Ryan about some of those things. But you know, it was pretty. You know, kept us out of harm's way. Delivered some some really really good throws. Um, you know, was accurate and made made good decisions. We just have to. You know, I think there was a few down the field we probably could have had. Coach, do you feel like this game was a getting back to your identity as far as stopping the run and establishing the run on your own? Well, I think that's just what you have to do, uh, especially against the opponent that we were playing, you know, where we were playing on the road. And, you know, each week is different. Each week, um, you know, we'll have to have a game plan and then we'll see how that <clears throat> game plan's going and then whether it needs to adjust or not. What are some things you've seen from Chig out here in the practice field that put him in a position to get more opportunities yesterday? Well, I just felt like... You know, just trying to find a way to, um, you know, take take advantage of some of the things that that we saw on film, and you know, his, his skill set, and, and trying to build on things that he's done in practice or through training camp, and you know, he was able to to take advantage of his opportunities. You said you challenged him last week to, to get a little bit more out of what he's doing, and he told me yesterday that he felt he played a little bit more clear. Is there a conversation that you had to? to free him up a little bit or to focus on something specific that allowed him to do that? Well, I just think it's <clears throat> a comfort level. You know, some of these guys playing playing in the NFL for just, you know, four weeks of the regular season and just different opponents and different schedule and how things change and learning new personnel. Um, you know, we just want these guys to make sure that they got a few things going through their mind when the play is called, you know, where do they line up? You know, what do I do? Um, Versus this coverage, what do I do? Uh, versus this look, and then and then go play. You know, and that's what we're trying to teach him. And you know, I'm glad that he's starting to feel more comfortable. And um, you know, he, he finished in the run game. There was times where he was trying to finish through through the whistle and make sure that he was finishing longer than the guy with the ball. What steps did your offensive line take moving forward against the unit that was only giving up 2.6 per carry? Well, I thought we were good on the, on our combinations, the penetration that this that the defense usually has or had shown up on film. You know, didn't get us. Um, you know, so was able to get the the run started. You know, Grover or Stewart and um, you know Buckner and some of those guys inside had really created a lot of penetration and a lot of knockback. And you know, I felt like we were able to get some runs started and and hopefully be able to continue some of that. Let's talk a little bit about Danico yesterday. How, how much more have you guys maybe put on his plate given what's been the issues with the injuries of the past on the edges? As far as what he's had to do. Well, he's, you know, he has versatility, and, you know, and playing outside, inside, and, um, you know, just want to make sure that, you know, we're putting him in positions where he can help uh, affect the, the, the game and the quarterback and, you know, be good in the run game. And he's done that. And again, I, I appreciate the way that he shows up to work and uh, his professionalism. A part of him getting in his own way is taking things too personally. How do you manage that? Like for him to, you know, you want him to take it seriously, but you don't want it to impact his play. Well, I think for a lot of us and, and players especially, is you can have an impact on the play without actually recording a stat or making a tackle. And, and that's the thing that we continue to try to impress upon these guys is whether it's on offense or defense or special teams. I mean, we, we throw a pass out to Derek uh, behind the line of scrimmage, and we've got three receive, two receivers and a tight end that, that are blocking for – three and four seconds that allows Derek to, to get down to the post safety. So it's that – and that's not going to show up. It's that mentality that um, you can affect the play and have a huge outcome in it uh, without recording a stat. And we try to say that on defense as well, that you know, your impact at a quarterback or tipping a pass or executing the game um, correctly you know, can have a huge play on – a huge impact on the, on the game or the play without making a stat. Look at safety filling in for Amani yesterday. Well, yeah, I think of both of those guys, Josh and and, and Andrew. Um, you know, there were some things that they did well, and some things that obviously they'd like to have back, whether that's in, in coverage or tackling or making adjustments. Has Jeff had that role that you're just talking about that you can do things within the system that maybe don't show up in the box score in the stat sheet that allows other guys to do things? And was yesterday maybe an example where? They they try to limit him, and then Danico has the game he has. Yeah, I mean the very first, you know, I mean the first third down or whatever it was early in the game. You know, they slide to Jeff, and you know Danico um, beats Nelson, and 
you know, so when they are one on one, we expect them to win. Uh, and, and then obviously, you know, making sure that they're doing what we need them to do in, in the run game. And, and Jeff was a, a major impact in, in the run game, you know, making sure that uh, the line of scrimmage was firm and that, that we weren't getting washed. And, you know, they were, you know, he, they, he handled the double teams and the, and the combination blocks and all those things that we talked about, making sure that he was good. And, and you know, and then he got grabbed, you know what I mean? Got tackled a couple of times from, you know, the, the, the video that I watched. So not much he could do, you know I mean? I think he's trying to get into the middle of the pocket and trying to affect the quarterback when he was one-on-one. -on -one and then, you know, they saw it differently. How did Edwards do with his learning curve and, and where's Demarcus Walker fit into things right now? And we'll see where that goes this week, where he fits in this week. Then I'll, we haven't started game planning for for the Redskins yet with where guys will be. Um, and Mario came in, was you know willing to learn and willing to play, and you know, we'll keep getting him reps there. The O line improvement there also, but I think Derek's had four runs, ten plus yards the last two weeks. Are we seeing more from Derek in addition to the offense, offensive line? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it all works, you know, hand in hand. I think the combination blocks and the receivers and um, you know, sometimes we block them up and you know, miss a cut. Sometimes we don't block them at all and make a great run. And then sometimes we put it all together and, you know, there you go. So it's a combination of all those. I mean, then Nick Westbrook's doing a great job blocking and trying to get on his guy and, and making sure that, uh, you know, he's giving the running back every chance that he can to, to do something. And, you know, Traylon's trying to finish and unfortunately, you know, gets a, gets a call down there, you know, um, when Derek scored, but you know we'll, we'll keep trying to coach him up and and get him to block. A couple of the turnovers you guys got uh, Weaver when he knocked the ball out and, and Tart obviously matching hands. It, it's like a direct correlation of what you guys do out here. Do you give the coaches an opportunity to kind of search and find those drills, or, or how do you go about you know being so intentional with stuff transferring to game day? Well, you just have to watch the tape. I think that's the, you know when I tried to start coaching, I just I didn't really have a drill drill tape you know, I just had played and so you just talk about watching the, the play and where they're at when the ball snapped what position they're in what position they're in two or three seconds into the play and you know is it do you have to transition in a pass rush um, you know or are you down the middle of the quarterback and his front hand come off and then you, you match the hand um, you know are you trying to hammer or is the running back going down like in Joe Schobert's case and you're raking uh, so really, ball ball secure or ball disruption is about locating the ball and then finding out using the proper technique to to affect it. You know, some of those things wouldn't apply to. You know, you don't want to rake when the the runner back is still upright. You know, he's just going to put two hands on it and spin away from you. But you know, Kevin had a hammer, and we just have to be closer to when he hammers it on the tight end and the ball comes loose. That's the next guy's close enough to to knock it free because it was. Loose. I thought we had a better, you know, we did a better job of hammering and making sure those attempts were there. Obviously, you like the wins, but after the quarter point of the season, how do you like your team's trajectory at this point as far as improvement? Well, this would be a huge week for us. You know, I mean, we can't, you know, we can't look ahead. We have to focus on, you know, going into Washington and preparing this week and finding out who's available. Um, you know, I was, you know, excited to be able to go on the road in the division and, and win a football game. You know, it's tough, and we understand that. So. You know, we're, we're going to focus on the things that we did well. There's plenty of things that we need to fix, and we will. And we'll focus on them at practice and then have the best, you know, give our guys the best plan to, to go to Washington to, to give themselves a chance to win. Second uh, half, how much is it are you doing second, uh, like self-scouting and, and it's just working on being better? For this week? Well, just in general because the, the second half is propped up over and over again. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just about getting that first first down, you know, getting into the drives. I mean, some of the stuff that, that we're, you know, that we hit or made a play on, you know, we, we didn't. Some of it is, um, you know, one little mistake here or there. And uh, but, but I think that there's a lot of good football still in there. We just can't have the mistakes that, that have showed up. And, you know, once you can get into drives, you know, we just didn't run many plays. We ran 18 plays in the second half. That's – it's not enough. You expecting Rice to, to practice this week? Or Did Monty you say Rice? Monty Rice? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can see Monty and he's he can he can begin to, his window and start practicing. So he's been working hard and and Todd and Frank and their staffs have been you know 
working hard with them to get back. Elijah and, and uh, Racy have a chance to come off IR at this point now. I think it's been four weeks. Uh, they would have a chance. I don't expect them out there this week. And Hooker still still protocol for Hooker. Yeah, still still working his way through, and we'll keep you updated there. After Derek's, oh, uh, Derek Henry's TD was taken off the board, he had a lengthy conversation on the sidelines with the, either the side judge or back judge. Um, were you satisfied with the explanation? Uh, sure. You know, I mean, I, I want our players to act. You know, find out. You know, what what they did that. Uh, what what mechanism that they performed that would uh, lead to the official thinking that it was a penalty? And you know he he was you know said that he was trying he was restricted and you know I had asked if he broke the framework of of Traylon's body um, and he explained that he thought he he did and I said okay I'll have to you know you're the one with the flags and so I want Traylon you know I want Traylon to be able to understand that and that official that's what we do in training camp when these guys come in here is that we talk about what mechanisms they're looking for that are going to trigger penalties. Did it match the video this morning? It doesn't matter whether it matched or not. You know, I mean, it's they, they called holding.